Welcome to Dude RV. I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. That's right, we got another virtual tour of a great National Forest Service campground. Today, I find myself at Double Lake Recreation Area in the Sam Houston National Forest. I got a little red, the high-speed mobility scooter. I have the GoPro Hero 9 with the Max Lens Mod. Best of all, I have you. All right, let's get away from this highway. It's too noisy to talk here. We're in the Sam Houston National Forest, which is right next, you know, in the vicinity of Huntsville, Texas. Big thicket territory. Double Lake Recreation Area is operated by the U.S. Forest Service. Uh, you don't need to see the gate. There's nothing there to see. Point of note, there are no gate attendants. I guess they stopped having gate attendants for, because of COVID. And, Realize they didn't need them. I don't. I don't know. We get down here in these trees, and the wind will soften. So there's actually, as far as I can tell, there's only one lake in Double Lake. There's two sides to that to the park on each side of the lake. If that makes sense. One side is day use and tent camping. The north. East side would be the RV and group area. So we're gonna swing down and visit the day use tent area first and then go finish up at the RV loop. Kind of in that, kind of sort of in that order. And maybe along the way we'll see some wildlife. We're not gonna see too many campers because there's it's Thursday. There's only like a handful of us here. There are quite a number of hike and bike trails in this part of the Sam Houston National Forest. I was reading a sign by the lake earlier that said there's actually walleye in this lake. I didn't, I didn't think walleye were, could be found in Texas. I learned something today. So they don't want any RVs down here, so don't even think about it. But if you're a tent camper, like Superfan Dave, they might let his rig get down here. We can get full speed on this one, because there's no one here. down here in the Loblolly Pine Forest and so those pine tree roots have really made it rough. I am going to shoot a trail ride video. Not sure how that's going to play out because uh, what little bit of it I did to ride is rough. I, I couldn't even really go walking speed. But we'll see what I can do. I'll do what I can do.
just so pretty. I, I know I say that every time I'm doing this, but you know, it's true. I we better slow down. That was a speed bump that I just jumped. Got a little air. So this is the tent camping area. As you can see, there's really pretty tent sites with water access. And then there's tent sites like that that don't have water access. And you'll get a different angle on the way back out. Another, another speed bump. They're crap crowding my style, man. So there is a, a small craft launch. Not really a boat ramp, more of a just a cut into the bank. They have a swimming area, a beach, but the beach, uh, I don't know, it's kind of disappointing. Just like the fishing docks are kind of in disrepair. This is your day use area. Some of it appears to have been constructed by the CCC back in the day. Bugging the throat. <laughs> that seems that looked like a job for the chainsaw back there. It's a great place to bring the kids tent camping. Right now, it's November, November 13, 2021, 2021. It is about 90 degrees right now. But we do have a cold front coming in tomorrow. And it's going to drop the high temperature into the 60s. I guess that's why all them people from up north come south for the winter. I left home without any short pants. And I'm regretting it. No more speed bumps. down here having service work done on Trudy Thunder. If you're new to the channel and you don't know who Trudy Thunder is, that would be our Thor Magnitude Super C. She's still in warranty. And we got a few wrinkles to iron out. 
So while they have my coach, I'm sleeping in the back of the pickup. And I haven't done that since I was a young man. The things I do for my audience. funny because as I was preparing for this journey, I mind you, I'm only sleeping in the truck for tonight. One night in the back of the truck. I have a mattress, a sleeping bag, a CPAP machine, a, a fan. Well, you know, I kind of came prepared for cool weather. Wasn't prepared for hot nights. But the funny thing is, my family, was, they were all fretting, worrying about me sleeping in the back of the truck in the cold. But y'all don't seem to understand. It's not cold. Definitely not near as cool as I'd like for it to be. Alright. We're going to go see the group sites and we'll finish up with the RV loop. I gotta have a little speed to get up the hill, you know. There's a big lodge for a big group. It's funny. Funny in a huh, that's weird kind of way. The, this is going back into the group tent camping area. And at both ends of the road, there are signs that say, do not enter, one way. So it's, it's all one way going out. I guess they just want you hiking in, not driving in.
shall visit the RV loop. We are going to go counter opposite the directional signs. We're going to be breaking the law because it says do not enter and the arrow points the other way. We are breaking the law, breaking the law. There's a Judas Priest song there somewhere. Have two restroom shower facilities over in the camping loop here, in the RV loop. They do sell ice and firewood. See your park host for those. I think she said seven pound bags of ice. I didn't ask how much the firewood was. I didn't know they sell full firewood here, so I picked them up on my way. out here at Double A. Wrong way! That's a nice full screw site right there. Full surface, full connection. Something that you wanted to see. Pretty coach right there. I like that color. take a shortcut. Now the facilities here are spotless clean, but they are dated. They, they could use some freshening up. And the only reason I mentioned the facilities on the the virtual video is we're driving right by.
Man, those are always so much fun. I sure appreciate y'all coming along for the ride. Hey, if you enjoyed this video and you and you you found some value in it, I'd be I'd, it would really help me with the YouTube algorithm if you would click on that thumbs up button. If you share me on your social media, I would be even more grateful. I really appreciate that. And if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I really would be honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I really do appreciate it. I'm very honored. That's, that's why I'm here sleeping in the back of my truck. It is for you guys. I could be sleeping in a hotel bed where it's cool tonight. But no, for you, I'm here. No, actually, this is something I've just been wanting to do. For my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?